This video will demonstrate how to use the free program Mix for QRQ training when playing a CW audio file. Here is the program. The theory is that as you're playing the audio file, you choose one or you choose a speed if you're going to create it yourself where you're copying about 70 to 80 percent of it. So it's just a word here and there that you're not getting. And if you'll repeat a word, which Mix will let you do with a hotkey, and it has the letter A already as the default hotkey for fast rewind. Let me demonstrate that real quick. Let me speed that up a little bit. This is the speed setting here. So we'll take it up a little bit. Okay, so there was one, one complete word, and I tried to rewind it a couple times to show you. So if at the current speed you're still not able to copy the word, Mix also has a hotkey, F1, that will slow it down, and F2 that will speed it back up. And the theory behind that is you slow it down and keep slowing it down as you're repeating until you finally are able to piece together the word and copy it. Once you copy it, then hit F2 and speed it back up by one step at a time. I found the best step percentage is about 5%. So let me demonstrate that. Okay, earnestly. Let's say I finally got it. So now the now the idea is don't keep going forward, keep going back to that word, speed it up a little bit, and as you speed it up, your brain is going to train itself to understand and copy and, and commit to memory the sound of that word at each of the increments between where you copied it and at your current speed level. So let's do that again. So, and now we're back at uh, the original speed or close to it. So you keep doing that as you go through the file, and after you've gone through this file, you've had a chance to really practice at the tough words versus just going through it once and never getting it and hoping that the next time maybe you will. So instead of maybe you go hardcore in this thing and you really train and you go deep into it and dedicate yourself just like you would if you were a musician trying to practice one measure over and over again until you get it before you move on to the other songs. So because if, if you don't, it takes a long time to pick this up versus just attacking it right then and right there. Get that word, commit it, and the next time you still may miss it, but it won't take you near as many times to repeat it, or maybe you don't have to slow it down at all. You just have to repeat it at the current speed. So you'll notice that kind of improvement. So I found this kind of tr uh, training very effective when it comes to uh, committing word sounds to memory and being able to improve your QRQ copy speed. Now one of the other advantages of Mix, even though you have a file set at one speed, you can speed it up when you get better. And if you don't like this pitch change, there's another link to a video that will help you uh, put together a CW regeneration filter uh, circuit so that this will remain the same pitch if that's uh, your preference. So speaking of preferences, let's go into the option menu. Go to preferences and you'll usually start with the sound, so pick your sound card. It'll come at a certain length, see, see how that does. Sometimes you can go a little bit faster, but the default's probably good enough. Let's go to the interface. There's a few things to change on here from default, and that's the pitch rate slider range. So I found that 60% is enough variance, but that's up to you. So if you hit the drop down, you can choose in 10% increments, whatever you would like. But that gives you the total range if you take this slider 
up or all the way down so it'll go 60% change this way or 60% change that way and when we hit the hotkey F1 or F2 it, I found it best to keep it at 5% so just change all these to 5% and click OK the other thing I found is was helpful is to un check mark this enable replay gain if it's if it comes default on yours is check marked and just hit OK and that's pretty much the setup for QRQ training with mix